my life I've barely spoken Your words have been so broken I've been under your hypnosis Why did I sip that potion? I'm so done with holy ghosting My birth it Hey guys, we went to the channel and today Well, I'm just doing some updates on the TRX4 First of all, I got some new wheels in for the TRX4, the Corolla tires Because the plastic rims I am selling on eBay So, I got these new China Alloys, they're, uh, they, uh, self-lock, and they're really well, they're aluminum, they're black, look, they clamp really well on that wheel, like, these, they're super, I'm really impressed with these Canyon Trails, they're Canyon Trails, right, yeah, these are some really nice wheels, if you didn't see my Instagram post, I had them on here, the, look how much taller they are, they're like really good tires, I'm impressed. So once summer comes around, we'll do some rock crawling with these and see how they do. These were my first bead lock, these are my first set of bead locks, so they're definitely interesting trying to get together. But otherwise, yeah. The outside, well I got the paddle tires on there. This thing does all wheel drive donuts and everything. It's wild. I plan on doing a running video soon. So yeah, to pull off the body. I'll move that. And as you can see, there's some more changes. I got some fenders to help stop snow from getting in here. To keep this, e I know this AC is waterproof, and I'm trying to keep it, you know, like, uh, just, you know, a little, to make sure. Hold on a second. I got a little issue. Okay, that's better. So, like, let me, uh, where is it? There we go. So, this ESC, I'm trying to keep these cooling veins snow out, so I got that there. And also, it'll keep the battery from getting a bunch of snow on it. And as you can see, it flungs dirt everywhere. Just a bunch of rocks in there. Yeah, otherwise, like, I plan on eventually cutting these wires and putting a Traxxas adapter. And for my batteries, because I want to, those are a really good connector in my opinion. And also for the Flash's telemetry, that's the reason I'm going with it. Otherwise, I'd be going with XT90. But I want to keep the telemetry on the Flash, so I'm running it, switching to that. And also paddle tires in all four corners, which grips amazing. And otherwise, chassis, you see like it's got rear fenders, everything. Matches up perfectly. But yeah, let's flip over the vehicle quick. Let's put it on the side. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the bearing already has some rust in there, but no big deal. But these links, which one is it? This one? It already has surface rust. Focus. Ah! I let go to try to get my camera to focus. See, look, there's already surface rust. So, a future mod I will be doing is waterproof links and stainless steel drive shafts because these joints are. Oh boy. So, those are future mods. I plan on getting some links soon. So, waterproof links will be going on. And stainless steel drive shafts, I plan on getting if I break one, but if I don't, I plan on getting them um, well, soon. Yeah, otherwise, Max Marpiam, I saw your comment. I did, I softened the rear shock, so it's much better. Like, look at that. That much. And even with the crawler tires, like, if I remember too, I'll put it in a picture, which, Lord knows, I will forget. But this thing's got some good travel. Yeah, this, uh, Arma ESC is 100 amp. Putting out some work. Like, you also see, I got this, like, Y harness so I can run the fan and the LED for the LEDs. See, I've got all of them tucked under here, so that's out of the way. The BLX100 is a great ESC for my application. As you see, I got the wires ran up here neatly, and then I crossed, because I want this car to look good. As you can see, everything's like neat over here. Waterproof screws all around. I got waterproof screws on these. Your little shocks tucked in there. These fenders, I haven't used them yet. I'm really impressed with the quality of these. Otherwise, the body, nothing really new with that. The diffs, I plan on going with some like more override gear so I can get some more top end. But I'll do a little more research once I get time. But otherwise, yeah, otherwise, front shocks are good, rear shocks are good. It's a little bit stiffer in the rear, but yeah, that's all right. I might, I, I might soften it eventually. But yeah, otherwise, uh, I also got this. So if I want to put more weight up there, like. If I remember where it is, I got these two old brush motors, which I used to use for weight for the slash. I can just put it right up here, and that's more weight up front. That's 
Also, I, I just put it on there cause, to give it a little more reinforcement. It also keeps snowy, like... Anyways, I think it's got some pretty impressive steering angle. This is like, this could be a great drift car. Cause like, on the ice it drifts with these tires, so I do like all-wheel drive donuts and... Just honestly, I'm really impressed with the TRX4 platform. It's like, like yes, I know I haven't really uh, touched on the higher end of Traxxas models, but I think this is the best car that Traxxas has ever made besides for the TRX6. Because I, that car, I've seen videos of it, it performs amazingly, but... The Sport, with it being designed to be an all-out performer, it's perfect. And then, with me not doing just crawling, it's great for my application. It works great, and, you know, these steel chassis frame rails definitely improve virginity a lot. Rigidity, yeah. Blech. Can't speak. Otherwise, the dirt, like, there's just sand everywhere. The transmission here. When I, uh, re-lubricate it, because in about six months, I, with my off-road cars, I do it every six months, but my speedrun cars, I do it every three months to keep them in tip-top shape. So in about six months, I'm going to take apart the axles and transmission, put all new grease in there, and then, you know, put it back. And then I'll clean all the rocks off the transmission, because, like, boy, it's dirty in there, but you can see all the wires I ran underneath the battery tray and, uh, cross. Yeah, I hope you did enjoy. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, and follow me on Instagram at Carter Luloff, and I'll see you in the next video.